anything is possible till it ain't possible no more and that same saying that we always talk about it applies to the ravens when it comes to their playoff chances now after last night's steelers victory over the cleveland browns that checked off one of the scenarios that the ravens needed to happen in order for them to make it to the playoffs and when we go down the list of scenarios if you look at it it's really not too far-fetched what the ravens need right now is for the Chargers to lose to the Raiders, the Dolphins to lose to the Patriots, the Colts to lose to the Jaguars. And I know that's the one that got a lot of people tripping out, but we're going to talk about that. And then the Ravens also need the Steelers to lose to Baltimore. So those are the things that need to happen in order for the Ravens to make it to the playoffs. So they have a lot to play for in week 18. The Steelers do. All, all, all of these teams, well, minus the, the Dolphins and the Jaguars. But... Every team has something to play for because they can either help themselves or they can mess it up for somebody else. And in some of these teams' cases, they can do a little bit of both. Now, Ravens versus Steelers. Um, I'm expecting Tyler Huntley to, for him to, to start and finish the season uh, in week 18. I don't expect to see Lamar Jackson. I almost feel like, and it would be like almost like a business move, but I almost feel like the Ravens just been stringing us along and they've been like, oh, yeah, Lamar, he has a chance to play this week. He got a shot to play this week. But knowing that he really ain't have a shot to play in any of those weeks, I, I do think the injury is it, it was much worse than the Ravens led us to believe. I think it's just it, it's something that's really bad. And I would not be surprised if this offseason we hear, oh, Lamar Jackson, he has surgery on his blah, 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 whatever it might be. It, it would not be surprising at all if we heard something like that. And then we would all feel hoodwinked, okie doke But at the same time, we'd be like, ah, okay, well, that makes sense. Especially when they had him out practicing that one day last week and he was limping around. There was even, a, a, I know yesterday in the press, a, a Harbaugh said, in, 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 a, in, a, in a Harbaugh upset tone, he, he said that Lamar had a shot to play this week, something like that. But there was a fan that said that he was sitting right behind the uh, Ravens sideline and he said he saw Lamar limping the whole time. Jeff Zrebic even confirmed the same thing. He said, yeah, I saw that too. So Lamar playing against the Steelers this week, I uh, don't see it happening at all. I wouldn't count on it. Um, I wouldn't hold your breath if you're expecting it. And I, I just feel like they, I feel like the Ravens, they wouldn't want to tell like the fans, all right, Lamar's done for the year. Because so many people, and so many people already have, but if the Ravens told the fans, all right, Lamar's done for the year, so many people would check out. So many people would check out. Like I said, a lot of people have already checked out of this season. They, they're already done. They, they, a lot of people been done. Some people said they've been done, but they still been like, oh, yeah, there's still hope. But y'all know I ain't been done. Well, I mean, we never done. But um, <laughs> some people have, a lot of people have checked out because they've been like, all right, well, whatever it is what it is. OK, looking forward to the draft, looking forward to the next season, looking forward to the offseason. Da, 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 da. And that's fine. Um, but I just feel like the Ravens, they, they, they've known for a minute that Lamar has been done. But hey, like Harbaugh said, we'll see. We'll see when we see. And Lamar got a chance. So anyway, um, but Ravens, they, they need to beat the Steelers. Now, of course, Ben Roethlisberger had his last game at um at Heinz Field last night uh went out it wasn't the prettiest game uh but they went out with a win uh and that was important and especially when it comes to Ravens playoff chances like we're talking about now so again that is the first scenario and of course the Ravens they need to send Bend out on the bad end they need to send him out like they sent out Troy Palomalu I believe I believe Troy Palomalu's last game against the Ravens yeah, they, he lost. I think it was that, was it the playoff game in 2014, I want to say? I don't even remember now. But anyway, um, that's what they need to do. So, Chargers against the Raiders. They need to lose to the Raiders. Um, that is not far-fetched. Uh, it's a division game. Everything is on the line in Sunday Night Football. So, Ravens, even if they take care of their business, they're li literally going to be waiting all day. They're going to be waiting all day. Because they play at one the, uh, the Dolphins and Patriots game, I believe that's at 4.30, I believe. Uh, and then the Chargers and Raiders game is at Sunday Night Football because they flexed it. So this process is going to be an all-day thing. So hopefully Ravens take care of their own business. But Jaguars, I think Jaguars and Colts game is at 1, I believe. I got to double check, though. Um, and then with Dolphins, with Dolphins going against the Patriots. Again, the Patriots, they both them and the Bills are sitting at 10-6. and six. So... Bills hoping that Patriots slip up. Patriots hoping that Bills slip up. 
And if because if one of the two slips up and the other one wins, then it's like, okay, we're clear cut division winners. Let's get it. We got it. And we get a home playoff game. Everybody wants them home playoff games. I mean, everybody wants to get in the playoffs first and foremost, but everybody wants that home playoff game because you want the home crowd, the home atmosphere, that home energy. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, Patriots, they it's not like they probably going to sit, sit all their starters on whatever. No, they, they got plenty to play for. They got plenty to play for because um, they want to put themselves in better position. They got their rookie quarterback heading into the playoffs. You want him to be as comfortable as you can possibly make him. So we'll see what goes down with that. Uh, and then the Colts need to lose to the Jaguars. This is the one that most Ravens fans have been tripping out about, stressing out about, have given up about. Where they like, oh, you know what? Okay, well, we need this, that, and the third to happen. Okay, Colts losing to the Jaguars? Nah, ain't going down. Ain't, ain't, ain't going down. Ain't happening. Okay, well, uh, all right, next year then. Even though, like I said earlier, a lot of people, they've already checked out and they're already looking forward to next year. But with the Colts and the Jaguars, um, something that I didn't know until yesterday is that ever since 2014, that is the last time that the Colts beat the Jacksonville Jaguars in Duval. Duval County is a Florida thing. But that's the last time they beat them in Jacksonville. That is the last time. Um, so, <laughs> hey. Anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. The Jaguars could extend their streak of beating the Colts in Jacksonville. And again, with this game, Jacksonville obviously ain't got anything to play for. But one thing that they could be playing for is just to play spoiler. That's what they got, they, to play spoiler. And that's big because you're not just going up against a random NFL opponent. You're not even just going up against a random AFC opponent. You're going up against a division rival and even though there's that mutual respect between those division opponents there's still that rivalry and it's still that jaguars opportunity to be like <laughs> we sent y'all to the crib and we i mean we already been planning on being at the crib for this off season but we sent y'all to the crib to come join us come join us so the jaguars could essentially play spoiler to the colts and that would open it up for uh, the For the whole uh, Chargers and Raiders tie game I mean, it ain't gonna be no tie game But still, if they tie the game They will both go to the playoffs But ain't nobody trying to do that Ain't nobody wanna do that It would obviously open it up for the Ravens And then the Ravens would need some other things to happen um, But again, anything is possible Till it ain't possible no more And it's, it's, it sucks that the Ravens Are in this situation but the Ravens put themselves in this situation. They put themselves in this situation. Um, there were plays that were missed. There were, there were decisions that were made that just all impacted this situation, this scenario, to where the, the Ravens, they need a lot to happen in order for them to make it. Now, I think the last time that they needed so much to happen, uh, like, a lot, a lot to happen. Um, I want to say it was 2017, and it didn't happen. I think that's when the Bills made the playoffs. Was that with Tyrod Taylor? I think. Um, but so I, we'll see. We'll see. But, again, it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over till it's over. And as long as they got a shot. I know there have been people in the comment section Man, stop talking about the playoffs. It's over, man. It's done. Quit talking about playoffs. Would you shut up about the playoffs? No. No. I'm not. Until the Ravens are technically eliminated from the playoffs, we are going to keep talking about it. And if you don't want to hear about it, that's on you, my friends. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Love y'all. Uh, and we got a lot to talk about this week a whole lot to talk about this week like we always do questions from subscribers video updates all that good stuff and it's gonna be a great week as we head into the last week of the regular season wow that's sad no more monday night well actually we do have one more monday night football game it's gonna be a playoff game whoever that may be um but i think thursday night football games are done i believe that's it and yeah so saturday and sunday that's it for the regular season 
And then there will only be 14 teams left because there's seven, seven teams on each side, I believe. So, yeah. And that'll be that. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always watching and supporting. And just like the Ravens, oh, they are right now when it comes to being in the playoffs. Hopefully not forever, but like they are right now when it comes to being in the playoffs, we out.